there's no denying that there's an economy of energy, you know, for each person, and there's limits to how much can go out. And uh, of course, I want to do more and more all the time. And there's there's some people that are amazing that way, like that they can do so much, yeah. and they do they seem to do a lot of it really well. But uh, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I I think uh, part of getting um, older is understanding is trying to figure out what are the things that you do want to you do want to spend more time on, yeah. and the other things that you don't. Um, so. I'm glad. I'm glad it seems like I'm I'm doing a lot and and doing it okay. Uh, but I, um, it, everything I do could always benefit from from more attention. Yeah. Yeah. You know, doing the practices, ongoing um, meditation on how you dispense energy, yeah. ha how you share energy in your life, yeah. and uh, the practice. As much as I'm trying to focus on you know technique and doing the proper vinyasa so a lot of the um, a lot of the the learning I'm getting when I'm doing it the meadow message is a is about um, it is telling me w what's worth it like what what I need to spend more time on and what I can let go of you know this isn't my thought I've, I heard somebody say it before but the more you the more time you spend trying to meditate um, the more time you have because you bring more attention to the things that you're doing and attention is like a, I think it's called an oscilloscope where it, it expands time in a way you can if you bring more attention to a moment um, then that moment is much longer right there's more that you can bring to the moment more that you can take out of it and so I think this practice is, is it also helps us do more yeah I think probably family is the place where you, it mo it's most revealing about how how we're always coming short. You know, like raising a kid is like, um, at the end of the day, it's always like, I could have done better. You know, I could have given more time, I could have given right. more attention, um, and, which is a great, I mean, it's, it, that's a calling, right? Because that, that inspires me, at least, to try harder all the time yeah. for, for my kid, kids. Um, uh, it, and it is uh, exhausting, especially when they're, you know, first around babies yeah. and, and, uh, and it definitely impacts practice. It changes the way that I do my sadhana. Uh, the, um, my second child, um, uh, when he was born, I, I tried to hold my sadhana the exact same, you know, and getting up at three and everything. And um, I think because I was trying to do that, I left it up to my wife to do more of the, the getting up to do the diaper changes and, and take care of the baby and things. And, um, you know, it was equal agreement. And, but, uh, but I think you have to look at that. Again, it's that economy, you know, like is, is that sadhana more important than that my relationship with my son or my contribution that way, you know? Are they different? I don't know. So I, this time I'm, I'm a little like a more open about about how um, my other responsibilities are gonna interplay with my practice. Maybe that's a maturing message, isn't it? But I, you still gotta practice. I mean, I still wanna practice. If I don't practice, then I start to feel crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and I don't know why I'm doing anything. Yeah. You know. So yeah. I need I need the practice, and the the practice helps me do those things better. Yeah. Right. But I wouldn't want to. Um, put so much energy into my practice that I was a bad parent. I'm always uh, amazed by uh, how um, you find these new capacities for, for uh, love, right? For feeling when, when a new baby comes or maybe it's, it's just biological, I don't know. But, you know, I, I figure, okay, uh, I can't feel more than I feel. I feel so much with this, this kid around and then, and then I have another kid and I feel the same again. Like I feel it double. Yeah. You know, it's like how how does this keep happening? Um, but I never would have I never felt like that before. Uh, it's it's like a it's like a new a new sense you develop or something. So it's really it's interesting that way. Yeah, very worthwhile. And Strat was always saying, you know, have babies. Or yeah, I remember when uh, yeah when Stan walked in uh, pregnant, 
to uh, one year when we went to Mysore and she was pregnant and we showed up in the office. Sharat looked at her and said, oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> said, big improvement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>